You can't hear anything, can you? Explosion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the General Banter Podcast. As usual, we will get through the ads to keep the fucking lights on around here. Do you have a sponsor in your podcast? JJ Donnelly's Fentanyl. JJ, shout out to JJ Donnelly's Fentanyl. Let me guess. Butchers? <laughs> no, hardware. Hardware. Is it really? No. no. <laughs> I'm just looking at a free well, they, of just, screws. they just got a free one there. <laughs> shout out to our OG sponsor, Manscaped.com. Do you have a Manscaped? No. Well, you can use the second hand one I have there. Blow the blow the dust off it. You can take that home. <laughs> I need a right size of one now. You would. You need uh, you need two separate ones. It's like briar, briar like briar. Yeah, and you see, they 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 do instruct and in the small print not to use it on the face. No, but this is like this on my balls as well. Is it uh, <laughs> the face one? <laughs> it's just this upside down. <laughs> do you have a wiry balls? Wiry balls? Wi- wiry balls like or wiry, wiry bush? D- d- real wiry bush on the balls. Not too bad, no. No, I'm not it's all bad went it. to my face and back and chest. I know, I'm the same. Else. I'm the same. I've quite a reserved. Uh, it's actually quite bald, then. It's like the Sahara. Yeah, my, mine's like you know. People talk about hairy balls. The balls are fine. The balls aren't an issue. I, I never knew how you could actually use them on balls and not get them caught up in them. Well, funny you should say that, Mark, because <laughs> they do have anti-snag technology. All right, they've got a plastic blade there, so you can tear away. And uh, so there's a team of scientists working on this. There's a team like- of scientists making sure that you don't nick your bag, and you can do it in the shower. Why is that? You ask. It's waterproof, man. It's a waterproof shaver. It's got a light on it. So if you're ever stuck in a dark, wet cave and you're like, if only I could shave my nuts, you can uh, use the lawnmower 4.0. Right. Fantastic. Shout out to Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com. Use the code GEMBAM1. Get 20% off. Or walk around like this guy. <laughs> All year. What's our other sponsor? Calm. Do you use the Calm app? I've heard of it. The Calm app, Mark, is a, um, it's an app that... Uh, it's just just helps you through life, you know what I mean? It's got mindfulness techniques in there, helps your anxiety, you know, it's got uh, breathing techniques, it's got guided meditations. I was going to start a similar company called Weished. Yes. I was going to like Weished. record my voice. Oh yeah. And just tell wee stories. You should get into that. They can have um, adult sort of bedtime stories. Not adult as in they're obscene, but adult as in you oh, know, right. they're not talking about like dinosaurs and shit. But they'll have like Matthew McConaughey going like, well, hello there, welcome to the, and you're, you're out cold in two seconds. It's great. It's great stuff. It's the best. It's the best app for uh, keeping yourself chilled out, keeping yourself calm. Do you, do you know what you get off with, with the code? Calm.com forward slash banter. 40% Free. off your year subscription. Jesus. What is that? They're not giving it away. <laughs> They're not giving it away, Mark. But it is essential for modern day living. Shout out to calm.com. Will we start it? We'll start it. That's the intro. General Banter Podcast with Colin Jettis. There we are. We got through it. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> had a stroke there. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark McCarney. Hello. Most culture move ever. Look at it. Uh, but the sugar free one though, so. All right. Was that emo culture or? Just sort of modern neo modern. Cul- culture. Modern culture. Why do you go sugar free? Keep the abs. Look at me. Keep the abs. <laughs> I need to keep as much sugar out of me as possible. Well, I put about five in the coffee. <laughs> and then I like to even it out with the sugar free. Do you like a sweet coffee? Well, I only take about like three, to be fair. That's a, that's a lot. I'd throw up if I had three. It is. And I've, there's been times where I've been like, I need to get off the sugar. Yeah. But I never do. What about the tea? Same. Same in the tea? Three, yeah. You see, normally Barley. normally hardcore cultures would be like, what? Don't let any fucking sugar near that. No, but funny that although she went off sugar for Lent and she's never took it since. Which Lent though? Oh, years ago. All right, the one of ninety five. <laughs> the big year, the big one. And uh, but I've always like, I've every time I've tried it without sugar, I like I just throw it out halfway through. But you see, I I would have had um, I'd have had sugar in the tea because my dad did it for years, and you just thought like this is this is how you make tea, and then eventually just tried it without it, and it, it takes you about three cups of tea and then you don't give a fuck but there's just water without the sugar really no you leave the bag in it for a minute no but like even with like it just tastes very like just water well tea is bullshit like i have about three cups of tea a year oh no i'd, I'd have about 10 daily really oh i big tea i'd have 10 coffees a day like 
and it does nothing for me. I just get to the point where I just fully crash. I would never sleep. make a coffee at the house. I'd only ever like buy it, like high end coffee like that. Oh, the bar. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be into this fancy stuff. I just like the hard stuff. <laughs> well, sure. If you have fucking three sugars in it, you could be drinking any of that shit. I would like the milk. Clip it. <laughs> Clip it. Mother's milk. He likes the milk. Mm? What's that, a cappuccino? Yeah. Dirty slut. I like the Frank and Honest one, I must say. It's good. And I tried the... Uh, the, wee, the, um, the wee one's good. No, I wouldn't like... wouldn't thank you for Frank and Honest, no, barista. Really? No. Uh, I don't see, know. Do you know why? Me and Al have talked about this. The flat white from the Frank and Honest is about entry level, like where coffee start to get good. I Which think. a flat white's just skim milk, isn't it? It's just milk. It's just a short sort of cappuccino. As a wee hint of coffee in it? No, it's the same amount of coffee. It's always the same amount right. of coffee. Which that's just milk and coffee. Aye, but that's very... <laughs> I don't know where we're going to get into an argument so soon. <laughs> the, co- the the espresso... You, you're a fucking technician in the coffee world. Huh? It, this, so the, the machine will give you, what, two shots usually? The, the machine will give you two shots of espresso, and then an Americano is the rest of its water. Oh, fuck. And then, and then a stick. cappuccino, the rest was like, quite a bit of milk, a bit of fluff. Just stick with the Nambari. And what's a flat white? Mainly fluff. Uh, it's a short cappuccino. Less, less yeah. I, really, I really wanted to get into the iced coffees. Right. And when we were in New York, McCann got one. And he's yeah. like, try that. And I was like, lovely. Yeah. We were up in Belfast last Thursday, and I got the same thing. Pish. Where? Starbucks. <laughs> It probably was the one you tasted sweet because I, I bet you McCann got like a fucking no, it was the exact same one because latte. if I if I see anything that I like and I text it into McCann because then I can look back because <laughs> I can't remember the name of things <laughs> so I was like looking back and it was like an iced mo- iced mocha yeah. something but in New York Aye, that would be lovely. nice it's like a fucking mocha's half coffee half chocolate but the must in, in America they put like fucking shovelfuls of sugar in it they probably do they actually I was in a Costa you remember we were doing a gig in like Queens or something and there's a Costa I think in like where Mandela Hall was and I got like a nice coffee and the girl just put like two big shovelfuls of fucking dust into it it, it didn't look like regular sugar but I, she was trying to get it to fluff up or something I don't know what the fuck it was sawdust but it was good, probably. Just ease, just cat. But um <laughs> I don't get. But you guarantee if McCann gets it, it's the fucking diabetes five thousand version of it. The guy's out of control. Well Amer- I think America is like everything is like sweeter out there because they're just ramen full of fucking ease and whatever. Probably. But it definitely I was like, this is not the same thing at all, but it was the exact same thing. Hmm. Hmm. Cause McCann knows his stuff. Oh he does, but he also like we we were in America with him too, and the guy is just you know he's gonna get his foot cut off one of these days. I never he's fucking, seen I never seen a man that can put stuff away in my life. And he just he'll say something like I'm on my holidays, and then he'll just you know go for go for lunch and then have five bags of gushers. He says that Noma as well. <laughs> <laughs> go to the drive through. It's my holiday. You've been on a lot of holidays this year. <laughs> I every morning I get up and I would have would have got pancakes. Right now, and the boys make it on the grill. Now they're fucking brutes, like three yeah, the big, big fat ones, stacks. Yeah. Like I would eat one, and I would dump the rest because I'd be the sweat would be teeming with me. And one morning he got the same thing, and by the time I got the last bite of the one, he was licking the plate three gone. Like <laughs> that's what happens. With you, like you're the youngest of like fifteen people, just fucking aye aye survival so mode, sorry. just shoveling it all in. But sure, he they were all grown up whenever he was born, was you know. Aye, it's just no excuse. You know what they're like. Mommy Hall isn't the youngest child. Aye. What, do you want, what do you want after your pancakes, love? Steak dinner? <laughs> <laughs> just a funnel. Like one of them geese, you know? <laughs> Fucking foie gras geeses. No, nothing ever goes to waste. Like, even the nights out, there was another time where they were maybe been around laying left, like. And just the, the Uber would have landed and he just would have talked the three of them. Go on. The man's an animal. Go on. Oh, he definitely's going to be the first today, like. Which is weird, because I see Mickey last night, and he just looked like he could have poked your hand through his skin. I trans, I but that's the difference. He has a like McCann's a self inflicted, and Mickey's <laughs> I don't just know, Mickey's fucking Mickey picked up scabies somewhere, and he's done some bits to himself. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I but this is like medical. <laughs> I'd say it'll be medical when McCann gets his feet taken off. Too. <laughs> I didn't know. I watched this thing on TikTok where you get all your fucking uh, medical knowledge. 
I didn't know that. I thought like uh, <laughs> I thought like uh, the diabetes thing was just like I was trying in my head trying to go like why do you end up getting your feet cut off? But then this guy was like, oh, you know, if you have whatever type of diabetes, you got to be really careful. You don't like injure your foot. Like if you stand on a thing and cut your foot, or you've got some sort of whatever, and then you get an infection that easy, and then that's how you get the leg off. I, just I thought it just filled up with sugar. Not having to get a ramp having to get a ramp on every stage and just <laughs> dragging them up. Fuck! I remember. There used to be a bunch of lads came to Lavery's and they were all like wheelchair basketball players. All right. And they didn't have a wheelchair lift yet. And then they'd be like, "Oh, these boys are here for the comedy." And there'd be like four of them, and, we, and they're not wee. You know what I mean? They're like athletes, so they're all tanks, but they're in a fucking wheelchair. And uh, the bouncers would just be like, "No, nah, we we're not insured to fucking help them boys up the stairs at all." So me and Dave Elliott would be fucking hauling these bastards <laughs> up the stairs, sweat pissing off us, <laughs> two in each arm. <laughs> not even. No, these were fucking like big. You know what I mean? Like fucking wheelchair basketball players. That they're, they're all sitting there like this, and you're fucking like, Rrr. "Thank God you're something to hold on to." Even you, Do you ever I mean? see them that sport? Did you see that documentary, Murder Ball? I've heard of that, but no, I've never seen it. They fucking just wreck each other. It's it's so violent. Oh, really? It might be wheelchair rugby, actually. But they just fucking smash into each other. And all I can think about is like, what if you get your hands stuck between the two the two wheels? And is, you just, is the wheels angled though that you don't? They're they they're angled, yeah, cambered uh, a wee bit. Like <laughs> is that the word? Cam camber? That's a real fucking uh boy racer term that. The wheels are calmered, but a wee bit like that. So yeah, they probably don't mate flush like that. Oh, you have a wee so bit you of room. Get your hands. But you, you know, it's all violent until you're on your back, and then you know it's like an old shape. Everyone knows a bit of violence, no matter what way you're shape you're in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wheelchair basketball. I mean, I wouldn't even fucking. I can barely walk, let alone push <laughs> myself <laughs> on wheels. I was watching the other day some film. Oh, really old Will Ferrell film. The way the racing one. Talladega Nights. Talladega Nights. Oh, yeah. So he was doing that wheelchair basketball. Like, he'll never walk again. And he put his foot up. He was <laughs> booting the boys in the face. <laughs> Here, I had this realization the other day. There's nothing funny on anymore. There's like nothing fucking funny. There hasn't been a really, really good comedy film or like that since the first hangover. Oh, well, it's shy too, but you know, but there was, there was, but I mean, like, like blockbuster comedy, aye. like that was but then the there last. was like a wave of, you know, where there was like super bad and fucking, yeah. you know, it just kept going, like the Talladega Nights, the Step Brothers, the fucking, all that yeah. shit was just came out in like a big burst. And then even like, you know, like Forgetting Sarah Marshall or, you know, American things like Pie. that. American Pie. It's just, what? American Pie. American Pie. Yeah. <laughs> Hasn't been a good movie since Caddyshack. <laughs> <laughs> But, but that know. is like they're all. Um, who was I was talking about that one? And they're saying like every comedy now is just disguised as a drama. Yeah. So what if they say something, the that's what? Oh, they go well. That's a drama. You can say it in the drama. It's a dramedy. That's aye. a word I've so heard. That's that. why. I There's no such thing as a straight laced comedy anymore. Like. I remember the TV company I worked in. They were like, we make, um, edutainment. You're educating people. It's educational entertainment. What are we educating? I was doing nothing. I smoked, a <laughs> I smoked a fags out the back. I was just fucking killing time. I'd have two double Mac screens and I'd have fucking After Effects and then like Final Cut and then I'd just be watching a DVD. <laughs> or like, it was probably a DVD at the time. You used to bring your own DVDs. Just in the corner, really small. I'd be like just moving the mouse around After Effects but just watching like fucking... <laughs> just watching whatever. There we go. How long do you do that? Too long. One year, I think. Them entry level media jobs are horrendous. Like. Oh, blow your brains out, like. I used to do weddings. They, they would be like, they would be like, here's um, here's like fucking twenty five takes of this presenter. So it wasn't like acting or whatever. You couldn't like pick a good one. You just had to see this fucking, and they had to get like some, you know, like wannabe presenter. It wasn't like a well known presenter. It was like some guy from America. He's like, I can dance and I can present and I can do anything. And they got him in. And he would, it would just be him, like, oh, woo, doing all the fucking warm ups and all. And they'd be like, today, guys, we're in Chicago. And they're like, ah, you welcome to diners, drive ins, and dives. But it was the same thing. And he'd either fluff it or he wouldn't. So I'd just be like, good, 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 good. And then the good ones would have to be like, good, too much hands. <laughs> you know, like, good, fucking car and background. You just had to, like, somehow differentiate so between the same fucking thing. I used to have to go to the bride's house before weddings. And film the whole like morning and all. And you're just literally just <laughs> urging. Just, you. just e- editing out the bray going, Fuck's sake, Daddy, where are you? 
Come on, where's the, where's the sausage rolls for fuck's sake? I don't know why. I'm covered in shit, just in from the milking <laughs> parlor. Like. I was going to say, I don't know why that's funnier than a Jew did it. I just stand in the corner with the camera, just just look like a pervert, flag in the wall, full beard and all, like <laughs> no treasure. Oh, fuck. Because <laughs> like when now nah, when you and that was it you and fucking Ross did it. Ross and shit, you know what I mean? Cool guys, you know. Get the top knot on, got the linen shirt, you know. They're hey, we're cool camera guys. Mm. There's not you in the wellies in the background <laughs> <laughs> with two spar bags tied over the wellies, <laughs> so you don't dirty the good carpet. <laughs> hey, that's how it's done. It's for just you. The spar bags are for audio purposes. I just uh, I, the audio is just you so, breathing down the back of the thing. But that's all there was. You're slipping out, daughter. You're slipping out. <laughs> Do you need a bit of tape? I have a bit of gaff in the back. Hey, do you want one last go before you get hitched? <laughs> <laughs> Drop the tripod there. Um, that's, that all, that's all there was. To be honest, like if you said is you're the bathroom in, empty now, is it? <laughs> if, if you're in the media, they're like, oh, is either porn or weddings? <laughs> Here. <laughs> I, Make it happen. And so that's so for, I used to have a boy from Fentanyl, like he used to shoot the whole weddings. And, and then the, he would go upgraded to the end, the jamboree came to town. Oh, I remember managing it and I nearly got punched the head of me. Just for filming shit? Just for filming, because you'd be... <laughs> I was videoing one time, and I was just panning around, and this boy was having a full-scale argument with his girlfriend, and he just happened to clock me at the precise moment where I had the camera on them, so it looked like I was filming him while they were full around. He fucking lost it, eh? He was about to kill me. That would be great if it was just all, uh, you know, all the fuck... I, here, have you seen the trailer for the latest Jamboree? Has it happened already? That Jamboree thing? It was a couple of weeks ago, eh? Did you see the trailer for it? I don't think I did, no. I'm going to see if I can pull it up here. Uh, let me see. Trailer. Jamboree. It was like fucking Netflix shot this trailer. It's probably the boy I used to do the weddings with, because he used to do all the... He used to do what what, what the, would I be right? What would I be typing in here? Jamboree. Jamboree in the park. In the park. We were supposed to do that. Why the gig? Yeah. And I, it was during COVID, and it all felt like it was... Well, no, it was, I was kind of before COVID, and then COVID happened, and then... Because I remember, it was a Chrissy Bowers or something, would you do this? Now you just pull some figure out of your arse. Nine grand! <laughs> He's like, I'll, yes, I'll get you that. You're you like, nine grand? We were offered like... <laughs> no, I, I, it wasn't nine grand, you know what I mean? It was like, so, it was some... 500 pound on a day at Coke. You hit someone with that number, which means I don't want to do this. And to be fair, see the, the Eccles for Center? I mean, in the park. What am I looking for here? John Marie in the park. Hang on. You could pack 2,000 people in it. Oh, I'm sure. Just the stink of fucking diesel. And hold on, John Bray in the park, April twenty twenty. This might have been the one I watched, right? Was it? We said, of course, we're playing off four G. This will take nine weeks. Um, but it was, yeah, bro. You can't even hear that, can you? <laughs> I can hear it in my mind. Did you hear that big slam in there? Whoa-boom. <laughs> Hans Rimmer. <laughs> Hans. Hans. <laughs> oh, I take it very seriously. Like. I lose Hans Rimmer. Nobody in the town has to work for a year after the Jamboree comes to town. Listen to that. There's Derek. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why? We need a big screen up here, don't we, for the... Is it AVA or is it fucking Jamboree? The nights they played our wedding, I missed it. <laughs> Johnny Brady. I know it's like. Have you ever been? It's fucking intense. It is literally in a big tent. No, it's not. That's the big tent there. Like, it's a big horse arena. I want to go. I wanted to go this year, they had on the Sunday, the, did you ever see that, is it Bingo Loco? Oh, I Bingo Loco. Where it's just fucking middle-aged women fighting over... Dildos? Five litres of red diesel and dildos and stuff. Are you ready? But that's, that's like, over the top, isn't it? It's so over the top, and then you get there and it's like... You know. But not to them, like, they do go mental for that stuff, like. What's the, what's the, like... That's like uh, Coachella. What's <laughs> it's like, actually? It's like if you're there at three o'clock in the morning, it's like Burning Man. There's boys no clothes on. They're fucking lighting things on fire. Getting rid of all the red, the red diesel. 
but it's fucking it's just what's the fucking what's the born slippy of the country world you know what i mean what's the fucking wagon wheel is it maybe not now maybe yeah, they fucking, a while ago but they play it and then they're like pull up and they launch it again and everyone's like fucking jiving like mad but yeah. how did i see in that was the, done a cover of like a feature i was like that credit about turner's grave hey have you seen that oh yeah 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 Pura, Pura I, like, I couldn't Pura get into Vici. country music at all. I know to look at me, you'd think I'd be mad about it, but I couldn't. I mean, it's just, it's crap. <laughs> Most, of, I mean, like some like old American country where it's like you know you pretend you're a fucking cowboy, class. I some like, of that die. Not all that fucking. I just couldn't get past the. We're fact. gonna get neat. if we if we started slabbing about like paramilitaries, we'd be in less danger. Than we are now, slavering about country music. Ah, fuck, I'm worried. There'd be boys in tr- fucking tractors and all different apps. Not that shit. Fuck that. Cancelled. <laughs> um, I couldn't get over that the 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 sing each other songs, the sing like the same songs. Oh yeah, that was the thing. I was like, if, imagine we done like a comedy show and you done a set and I get up and done the exact same set. Yeah. Uh, Gareth is doing Mickey's Sarasas bit. It won't, like, I just asked the thing that was like, I couldn't get my head wrapped around that. Oh, but I'm sure there's debauchery at that, though. Oh, it's a pure session. You know when you're, like, fucking... Calf on a cow? Ca- aye. That big glove up some girl's arse. <laughs> like, how do you eat? Fag harness, man, home. <laughs> or not even feeling the thing. I remember seeing, there was, uh, do you remember Keeper, Keeper Country or whatever? Keeper, Keeper Country? Remember that show now was on BBC? Keeping a Country? Oh uh, yeah, and they'd, they'd bring a fucking and it was actually like they, they had a camera crew in the moy, not far from here, and it, it's basic because th- this is this is what happens. There's a lot of like fairly attractive girls, and then just absolute fucking ogres. Mm-hmm. But that's not the the currency in the countryside, you know. So you get these wee cute girls running about, and then some fucking just <laughs> oaf standing there with a fucking shirt on, you know, like in a fucking Scania jacket says V8 in the back. <sighs> But that's she, the ones you want because they work harder. Exactly. This girl was fucking, you know, they've, they've got the mic'd up and she's screaming in the air. And I was like, this is this is how cultures chat each other up. He's standing there, like, hadn't moved. He, you know, he's not out, he's not out sp- throwing girls around the dance floor. Like, he's just standing there with a pint of smell. Like, looked about 50. And this girl's like tiny compared to him. She's going, what sort of machinery do you have? And he's like, this is, this is like his time to shine. And yeah. then he just starts rattling out the, these fucking bits oh, of machinery. Right. And she's fucking, you know. Yeah, oh, well, it's not the, uh, you could be the ugliest cunt ever Aye. and have four acres and you're drowning in fanny like. <laughs> you are like down home, like, and I've seen it time, time, like, you know when you go to, when you're at school and you had like the popular girls, like good yeah. looking girls, and you're like, ah, dog, when she grows up, like, she's going to marry a model. The fattest heaps of shit they end up with. Oh, why? Because they have... A big front lawn, mm-hmm. road frontage, <laughs> <laughs> and then the get like. Have them. you road frontage? I do. You can road me backwards then. Because there's dogs like, like there's road you know, frontage. That's the name of the podcast. <laughs> that's the way. And then they get way looking too. Because you no, know, when you live with them, you get like them. Oh, wow. she's never. She's just over a fucking pot of spuds all day. Uh, no, not Chinese. That's all they know. And look at it. Just uh, look Chinese look at it. Oh, spuds are a dream nowadays. Oh yeah. Sundays. That's that's for. <laughs> That's that's you're that's what you're up against now. If you're a decent, decent fella, Cody. It's funny now you say that. You know, you think the the culture dad is all you know spuds and steak and all, and it is. You know, they just open the tractor cab and the fucking oh, a, right. a wave of Lucasade bottles hit the floor and burst them. Yeah, all. yeah. Especially this now the sales, you know. Aye. Well, I know I'm fucking out in the ranch here now. Aye. Uh, you're one of, you're a, one of us now. A slag at it. What? What's one of us? I I was trying to explain. Trump. I was trying to. Someone was saying last night. You know who was like a culty comedian, and I was like, I don't think there really is. I was like, you might be the closest. Well, I, I this, this was my thing. I was like, if you're unavailable for a few weeks because you're stacking turf, that's a real culty. Because you can live in the country, like what I wouldn't do a gig because there's turf to be cut. You know, like Begley, my mate. You know, like he's he's doing musical theatre and fucking doing serious plays. You know, oh, and all this here shit, and you know about the rising. And then the next minute, he's like, Nah, I can't fucking come around. No, I'm fucking. Getting sunburnt and fucking at by Midgey somewhere, <laughs> stacking turf, and he's like, "I can't get away. I just can't get away." I would ask to hit the house. Is that you have I to do tell, that to get? Uh, are we talked about this before. At what stage do you go? You know, with the oil, we've got the gas, we've got the fucking oil oh, is like a million pounds for like a cup of it. 
Aye, but if you were fucking getting eaten alive in a field and sunburned and fucking pulling but your back out, you'd be like, just fucking put the heating on. Human suffering is cheaper than <laughs> having to pay for things. Look at the Egyptians. <laughs> it's the same thing in a bog. Uh, well, like, they had no problem eating anything. That's why people had loads of ki- yeah, children years ago, just for free labour. Uh, what was it? You, like, you fucking knock out a bunch of kids, and you're like, man, see, in five years, we're going to be uh, going to the, a castle out of turf right them here. fucking calluses in that child's hand at only two, <laughs> y- two hours old. You see, uh, our son is, uh, you know, he's he's grown up here. Mm-hmm. And there's not, a, there's not like, an awful lot of farming going on, but, the, you know, there's tractors and yards and diggers and whatever and like just to keep him busy we'll be like you know do you want to put the bricks in the in this wheelbarrow and he just two brick two bricks like that two and a half and just waddles over <laughs> clunk and then he just keeps doing it and keeps doing it and i'm like then you put him in a bath one day and you're like oh, his back is muscly uh, <laughs> you know what i mean well you're we way would grow up like my me because i like i don't live on a farm but surrounded yeah so it's literally every direction there's a celibate. Is your dad not a farmer? No. No? No. Big drug dealer? Well. Bah. Why do you want some? <laughs> <laughs> Say on. Do you do a bit of turf stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Sound dirty there? But bit turf, turf. Do you up the turf, do you? We didn't for ages, but I'd say we will this year. But our, our bog's fucking, like, it is it is hell on earth. Because it's, it's like a mile in from the road. Oh, and yeah. it's She's so bad. Fuck, fuck that. The ground's so bad you couldn't get a quad in or nothing. So you're literally carrying bags on your back out. A, w- a normal bog, 100%. percent i take it any day. Those of the modern week. bogs with the, the lifts and all? Yeah. But then the doll, see, we don't. There's a doll owns that ground. It's really ancient laws. Like, we own the bog, but it's not ours. Is she like a bog lord? No, like, it's her, it's her land. But years and years ago, everyone was assigned a plot of turf oh my god so we have a right away but she hits it so she fucking puts like gates and all up through it and it's real torture i was uh those those old country things like i was talking to our boy sean who's back from south africa and he as a joke you know he's went up and he like as a joke introduced himself and he's like Sean Gal-, and he's joking last oh, night right, yeah, like, yeah. <clears throat> because he's campbell and where he's from everyone's a fucking campbell so he has to give you the full bloodline it's a game of thrones same as us. There's like 18 different McCarneys in Fenton and we're not, none of us are related. That's wild. Or so we tell each other. Anyway. <laughs> Just look exactly the same. <laughs> well, I don't look the same at all. Sure, I don't have a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by Manscaped. Right? But that's, that's just inbreeding. Definitely has to be like. Do you reckon if you started uh, sponsoring your podcast with Manscaped, word would get about the town. People would be like, how's that fella? He's got the shiny ball back. There's a healthy disdain for trying to sell anything down our way. Is there? They nearly go again, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they nearly grow the beards out so they wouldn't have to give it to you. You should. I, I th- you were joking about the hardware thing earlier. You should legit hunt out the, the culchiest sponsors of all time. I couldn't sell anything. I couldn't take it seriously. Well, who takes I'd it end seriously? up slagging it off and then bother. What would be the culchiest sponsor? A butcher's? meat like a meat like someone that does you like a meat pack for 20 quid probably a agriculture contractor <laughs> that's too deep you need a you needed something what's just like a shop that sells like uh Mary some, like somebody's like lawnmower repair oh <laughs> well everybody uses that not just culture <laughs> i know but it's come on you have to widen the range of it what are you going to give them 20 percent off a strimmer yeah new string for the strimmer that's a good note <laughs> Must get on to that. So, what was uh, what was America like when you went over? McCann was saying everyone was having fun. You were just in, in there at it. I will. I was fucking like. Uh, so the day I so I was uh, doing a lot of work at it. Like I wasn't. But sure, fun for McCann's is out all night, all night for like three nights in a row. Having sex with women? Uh, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping there is <laughs> funny right enough for when we landed to the apartment. He was the first one there, and there was this doll there just high off her tits that's right he told me that and i was like mckenna we need to start writing alibis for you or what the fuck's going on here but she was just a friend from the la or whatever yeah, but he's, she was you just know, off her tits mckenna is uh he is a good innocent boy now like well, he'll be he'll be like oh there, you know he's he literally just be like fucking oh there was a girl you know came back to the flat and on you know she was like i know we having sex or what and i was like no you had a drink earlier so wouldn't want to be any grey areas. Fair. Yeah. But McCann's good. I think McCann's good at the long game. 
he'll befriend the girl for about 10 years and then go, can I finger you? <laughs> and she'll be like, well, you've, you've had your fake cut off with that, baby. <laughs> well. In 10 years' time. <laughs> rub me stumps. <laughs> Put it in. Put the whole stump in, for fuck's sake. People keep asking me, like, what, where, you know, when's, when's the video coming out? What's the video? What's this mysterious video? I you making a film? Know, I don't know anymore. I, I just, oh, fuck. Don't. It's changed so much. Get it out. Here's here's the thing. There's two types of... This is what you deal with in the comedy world. People who are absolutely shit and have an abundance of confidence and conviction. And then people like you, we're just like, just fucking get up. Just get up there and fucking do it. Put it out. Who gives a fuck? I think I do. Uh, it is bad because like, I look at things over and over and over That's again. That's me hitting you, by the way. To the point <laughs> that I hate it. Aye. And then I go, I'm not putting that out. But who gives a fuck? It's not for you. You know what I mean? I you know. read any of those old, you know, fucking philosophy things or like art is for the... <clears throat> is not. I remember uh, uh, the a video I done once. I wasn't going to post it. I was like, I fucking hate this. And I sent it to you. Yeah. And you were like... Uh, and I was like, don't bother your hole. <laughs> no, you're like, there you go, a million hits or whatever or something. And it was the Bandoran one, which is the biggest yeah. one I have. Yeah. And I was like... Why does it feel when you see just like a bunch of, you know, girls heading out for a night with their fucking tits off hanging out being like, Tits right, bales right, fucking. Well, they're not sitting, me. You're they're sitting not, in a shed. They're, they're not <laughs> me face. I'm like, fuck. There's one doing the rounds at the minute, and it's from a the Love Island video we did. Do you remember I had you down to the other house? And we did the Love I Island one, and there's a line Mickey has where he's like, uh, what is it? I'm in the. I'm in the. Drinking pints and women, mainly, or something. I forget the line. But it was it was fucking on every video I've seen. Some gay, I don't know. I can even remember. I, knew, I was like, I know that's Mickey. Where's that from? I was like, is that from? Did we make a video? And it took me a minute to like put it together. Some gay, I don't know who he is on TikTok, has um, put all our videos on, mm. like took them off YouTube and talk. Because there's ones I seen ones with my voice, and I was like, how did they get that? Because I didn't put that on TikTok, but this other gay had, and then they were just fucking using it. You should buy a twin cam and just saw the roof off it and just sail through Bondoran. With your cock out, I would just hang my cock out the window and be like, "It is I." Like throwing fish to a seagull. <laughs> Take that <laughs> there. The smell of that anyway. No, I, <laughs> I don't know. You get caught out, be like McKeon. <laughs> You'd yeah, get you caught were, out having your dick sucked hey, out the side of a car. You too much red bulling you for. Have you ever been? Me? When was the last time you were in that scenario? Do you ever get like swamped by people going, "That's your man. That's your man." Does the voice? I not so much like, but before COVID, it was fucking mental, like. Couldn't, couldn't hit there a central, was, uh, couldn't hit a deli without getting mobbed. I remember one night in Enniskillen, a friend of mine just got a brand new Jeep. And we were just driving through Enniskillen. And the nightclub was on. Oh, wow. And somebody seen me in the back. And they literally, like, queued up and started fucking, like, pulling at the fucking Jeep to get into it. And he was going mental. It was a brand new Jeep. It was like a two-seater Jeep, you know? So you had to flip the front uh, uh, seat down. They were like fucking ripping out to get in to get pictures. Jesus like, Christ. And you're like, I'm just trying to get out here to get a fucking nest. Nice. the bar. Just trying to get a burger here. Would you not lean into that a bit? You know, just fucking get the shades on, hit the club. <sighs> no, I, I love the way I you just said the club and in a skeleton too. The nightclub. It was the nightclub. Why? Good one it was too. Huh? Oh, in his back in his day. I just feel like you should be capitalizing on this. But you see, it's everyone says that, but it's not in reality, it's not that great. No. It's all fucking psychopaths, like. I would just get them like in, any get date them that have went out with a doll that has like recognized me. It has been a fucking disaster. Are you allowed to talk about it? I well. What's the craziest one? You two, you were telling us some. The, <laughs> we were saying this is this is uh Hey guys, what do you got? What do you comedy guys do on the side? We sit in a McDonald's car park with the cars pulled up beside each other like we're fucking sixteen. Yeah. Uh, is and it? McCartney tells us about some girl trying to peg him. <laughs> And we're barely listening. You know what I mean? Everyone's just like, oh, 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 pegged, hectic. Very curry sauce in there. And you're like crying. You keep looking. <laughs> the tip was in. The tip was in. Well, I the thing about it, <laughs> that was true and keeps me up at night still. Tell me what happened. You nearly got pegged. And where to, where to begin? I don't even know where to start. I mean, it just was a fucking down. It just, oh. <laughs> well, no matter what, like, we matched on Tinder. Right. And I never had a great... Red flag. 
Well, that's true. I was sure. Where else do you go nowadays? Exactly. I'm exactly. going to put an ad in the paper or something. And I never had a flowing conversation with someone as quick in my life that I never knew. Right. And she's like, this is like the Wednesday. She's like, do you want to go out Friday? Mm. Which is very quick. Usually you take about a week or two to get to know of this constant wage or not. I was like, aye, that's dead on. <clears throat> so we went for something to eat. And she, the thing she was telling me was like, right, this is red flag. What were you eating? Everything. Oh, pizza. Pizza. So I was happy enough. Everything she said, red flag after a red flag. And I was like, fuck, what am I doing? So I just dropped her home. What, it, what was the red flag? One I cannot say. <laughs> well, she was married. <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking, you know that famous image? That's fucking those four soldiers pushing up a giant red flag. Uh, the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> now she was separated, but legally Aye. she was still oh, like um, sweat them about. And uh, <laughs> hold up, red flag, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking just she trumping up, hoisting it up. Reddest of red flags. So, <laughs> so that was all right. I just oh, dropped her fuck. home that night. Right, <laughs> gentlemen, never kiss on the first date. <laughs> <laughs> not after the pizza now you have to give a bit of context there was conversations about uh before that about sex toys right right and she was saying about how her exes didn't really like them ha- her having sex toys okay and i was like jesus daughter if you were with me i'd buy you any sex toy you <laughs> whatever want. you want i'll probably have it so i'll she, probably have it here <laughs> she's going, that thing no that, that wouldn't do anything to that, that wouldn't touch the edges that no? wouldn't take a dent out of her <laughs> and, and Could the, you drop straight back out <laughs> you need to use the far side of it for me. <laughs> She's going in fucking <clears throat> blunt in first. So that was all right. Um, so she's been telling me all about this here. So that's the context of it. And then the Saturday night, she was like, What are you at? I was like, I'm just sitting on my arse to the fire here. I'm with Naha. <laughs> she's you coming over. And I was going in my head. I was like, What the fuck are you doing? Hey? Don't do it, but I did. Yeah, so we landed the house. Turf and, uh, so you can't turn the turf off once you've <laughs> turn on oil heating off, can you? I'm fucking reliving it. Hey, it's not nice. So that was all right. And I went into the house and she said, "Do you want a cup of tea?" I was like, "I had three sugars." And uh, <laughs> I don't honestly, I don't know. I was sitting kind of half chatting like this, and the <sighs> kitchen was like over there. I was sitting half kind of <clears throat> dozing, and uh, she came over with the two. <laughs> Two things a day. And for the life of me, I don't know where she pulled it out of. But she pulled out a thing like that and just put it right beside the fucking thing I bought her on the kitchen table and went, what do you think of that? But this was the sex toys, you see, she was showing me. Oh. So that was like, and but the way she done it was very aggressive. And I was just like, oh, that looks great job there. All right. <laughs> and um, that was all right. Then she said, do you want to go and watch a film? <laughs> so I was like, I dead on, let's go in. And we're watching... Uh, you just with the arse clenched <laughs> tight. No, the first one. Because you know, you know this too. You know when people know you're doing comedy, <clears throat> they do horrendous stuff thinking oh, yeah. it's funny. Oh, yeah. So I was kind of giving her the benefit of the doubt. I was like, right, okay, she's only acting the balls or whatever. And then so we're sitting watching uh, TV. Thor. Right. She's going to be Thor after it. Um, <laughs> and it was half an hour in, she went up, and I assumed she was going to the toilet. And she went down the stairs with this fucking, like, nighty, like a see-through nighty and this big strap on. on. Oh, I've got to tell you, she's bisexual, too. Oh, well, at that point, like, that's... <laughs> fart in the wind, that. Who gives a fuck? So that's why she had this strap on or whatever, but the way she took it down, like, it was bouncing every foot she went down the stairs. The thing was battering the fucking... <laughs> Did you take long? Not overly, no, but I thought she was just in the toilet or whatever. <laughs> and so I was sitting on this couch and her sitting beside me with this big fucking strap on. So she... But again, I don't know if she was like, what do you think of that there? Or she was like, isn't this fucking hilarious or whatever? So did I she acknowledge just... it? Like, did you just sit down and it's just sitting up and she's like, have you seen Thor before? Or not? I, I don't mind it. I can watch it again, though. And just wobble it. <laughs> I, no, it she's really like, the three act structure of this film doesn't really go into <laughs> She's like being all intellectual about it. No, I, 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 literally as soon as she sat down, I was like, get the fuck out of here. Hey? And I went to the toilet and I rang my friend. I was like, ring me in five minutes that I have to go home. It's like first know. dates. Uh, but she just kept it on while the movie's on. When I came back out then, it was, she was off. 
She took it off, like. I just, I, I mean, like, did you not go, what the fuck's that for? I just, see, when I get flustered, I just go real culture. You know, I go, oh, Jesus, look, hey, daughter, fuck that wild thing there, eh? Like. <laughs> stretch needles, <laughs> wild weapon that there, eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Liam Neeson gorilla use that, yo. <laughs> Like you're talking about a fucking, like a car. Uh, you're just fucking for mileage enough. Kicking it. <laughs> what should you take for? That camber, does it? <laughs> so that was my siege. But that wasn't even, like, that's not even the worst. I remember at the start, some doll locked me in her house to three o'clock in the morning so we get <laughs> selfies with her granny. <laughs> that was the same doll trying to ride me in the fucking graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> was her granny alive? <laughs> <laughs> That was the other granny we visited. She's like, are you locked my house? You get a selfie with my granny. What time is she back? No, I'm taking you to see her. She's back. She's in there. God rest her. Now bless no, yourself. You've no, you've no idea. Out. These boys think it's great New Year because you're married. You go, go out and get funny. Do you need to move to the city or what? No, I need a fucking, I don't know, Alaska maybe. I, do you reckon the internet, like in the sort of rural <clears throat> areas, people aren't getting... As, as much normal interaction and they're just like filling themselves up with fucking porn and weirdness and then they actually run into another human and they're like do you fancy getting pegged after this cup of tea but the funny after i told that in the podcast and i was like people are either gonna go you're lying cunt you did get pegged or you're lying about the whole thing and the amount of dolls that message me going do you know that's a big thing now like a Pegging. lot of men are asking to be pegged and i was like i fuck i like fair play if that's what gets you off but i mean I faint if a needle goes in my arm or go into a coma if somebody tried to shove anything up my ass. <laughs> like, I couldn't take it. Like, I, I couldn't. <laughs> just fucking go straight in your... <laughs> no, I just go straight. Just like... oh I couldn't God. do it. Eh? I couldn't. But I, the parent is a big thing. I'd be, you know, I'd be like, well, if we were, if, if, if we really got going here and, you know, we're squirting, squirting all over the place... You know, there's fucking mad sex party. We'll see what happens. We don't just finish the tea and set it down and be like, gone ahead there before the, the big fight at the end of the door here. <laughs> oh, could you, I couldn't handle an orgy. There's too many to make tea for. I couldn't, I couldn't. An orgy seems the awkwardest thing to me. <laughs> nah, I don't like sharing anything. I, I couldn't deal with it either. Uh, yeah, it, there's a certain admin to it and you'd find yourself like sort of sitting about doing nothing a few times. I never think of that, like the admin of having to organize I would, it. I would rather, just, you know, me and McCann have talked about this before, just, you know, individual women in individual rooms. You've got like a hallway in a hotel and you're like, that's you up next. I would, you're getting all that? Yes. See, that's the that's no bother. Yes. <laughs> but it's all the way around. There was a big dog in session in Stabon there a couple of weeks ago. Did you see that? No. Like really like high class romping session. What do you mean by high class? Like it's very like the cappuccino is uh, on it. What do you call that Tom Cruise movie? <clears throat> oh yeah, eyes wide I'm... shut type shit like <laughs> in Straban. <laughs> I'd be at it. What, what, there's not much to do in Straban. You'd be like. at it just to laugh. Yeah, like because the amount of donkeys would be at it like, and just the accent really. Just everyone sounds like Woodsy. Oh, sure, gone fucking lick me bag. Hey. <laughs> See, they come from all over. <coughs> <coughs> Shit, I don't know what you Be like laser tag. Ah, <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> uh, hey, the world's fucked. <laughs> this is just, you're up against. Like. Just the next day, fucking mopping your floor up like. Oh, no, you need to put a tarp down. <laughs> you're like fucking. Be like American Psycho. Just uh, everything's coming. Uh, <laughs> be like you're painting the place i've often wanted to like stay overnight in the gorge and glens because apparently there's wild dog and girl. well here people people are looking for content from you <laughs> just to just kind of you see does this go down or not me and mccann <laughs> went one friday night and some somebody told me that how like if there's a couple of cars you're supposed to like have a light inside and flash it at them uh-huh i just happened to have a flashlight <laughs> happened to have it happened to have it fully charged start flashing mccann took a stroke <laughs> No, we're, uh, he's like, no, because he's so awkward that he'd be like, <laughs> all right. I'm no, he took a fit laughing, but laughing to the point where there was no sound coming out of him. Yeah. <clears throat> but nobody came over to us. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just another car full of dudes looking to ride some women. Aye. And then there's never women. Too. That's probably it. If I had an orgy in my house, I would get pissed off at wee things. You know what I mean? Like somebody Aye. would do something. I'd be like, take your fucking hand. Or, you know, I'd be like, get your fucking feet off. 
the car. <laughs> I have some coffee, David. I, I'd, be, I'd be freaking out. Do you know what I mean? I, there could be 10 people fucking in my living room and I'd come in from the toilet and go, one of you cunts pissed in that toilet seat. I'm going to fucking, I'm going to fucking wreck everybody I'm in licking here. out your auntie. Who brought in the boots? You know, the door to the place. There'd be people spaffing up your TV and I'd be like, did someone put a fucking tea bag in the sink? You fucking animal. a coaster under your balls at least. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty animal. Before you lay them balls down, put this wee doily under it. <laughs> Oh no, I don't know what's the goal, but who put the heating on? I think I'm gonna buy one of them dolls. But the the, the fake dolls? No, no, like a like a woman. Is that human? Are trafficking? you gonna buy? Yes, that is human trafficking. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> there's a fella in Fenton that bought one, and his family shamed him. Bought what? Uh, like a a bride. A real woman. Yeah, like she's from I don't know what country she's from. But is um, she tanned? <laughs> Where's she from? Well, she's from Fenton now, but I don't know where, where originally she's from, like Latvia or some. Oh, okay, like an Eastern route. European. Aye. Lady. And like the family sh- shunned them, like there was embarrassment of the town. Well, the joke of it all is she was a great woman and they're all the brothers now are divorced and this woman like hard worker and everything. I'm sure. Cutting the lawn and everything. <laughs> I'm like. sure. And a, a lovely woman, like a standing member of society now. Well, that is probably, you know, I don't know, like if you... I don't know if you were coming from like an absolute kip. But there is a big thing. Apparently, there was a while ago there was these Russian dolls looking men from Ireland. I but that's them. That's them taking over. Eh? No, but you'd have to go over to them. You to go. You, you uh, go over there. You go huh? over there. So that's you're like a uh, a groom. Like a you buy well, a groom. Like, rent a groom. You have to marry them. Like. Oh, no, you're not renting. What's the point that? Because they're big fucking Russian ugly bitches and they need red or whatever. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, is, uh, is that what's happening? Like, see, in my head, I'm like, you know, there's some like Russian model smoking cigarettes, going like, I need sexy men from. Oh, from they're not all models, eh? No, they're just big fucking big bears. The doll I met was. <laughs> <laughs> I know Svetlana. He lives in my shed. Big yoke. I don't know. It'd be tempting. <laughs> it'd be tempting. Jesus Christ. Sure, just put your house up for like you know we're taking Ukrainian refugees. If so, I'd see that somebody done that. He put the house up, they took in the family, and he ran off with one of the daughters. Ah, you see? That's the fucking... That's how it's going to go now. No good deed goes unpunished. You know, anytime she gives you any jip, you're like, here. <laughs> back to Cali. Uh, uh, we, might send, we might send you back. Just playing that noise around the house. Uh, Remember? No, I don't know. I think I'm uh, I'm too out of the, long of the tooth now to be for a relationship. What age you? 32. 32? They should invent an app just called Normal. Hey, I'm normal. Well, I'm awkward as fuck too, right? What about plenty of fish? <sighs> oh, it's that's really fucking lunatics it out. Is it? Aye. That's I, like some some girl looks I doubt like, it's the scrapings. Dresses like pink and she's like 45. Aye. I remember <laughs> that when I, when I was in school. There were so many like, so many of these places where people would be like, I oh, see if you want to, see if you want to go and fucking like buck someone's auntie who just got fucking divorced. Go to said place. There was two or three of them. Were like grab a granny type nights. But there's n- I don't know. I hear boys talking about <coughs> getting one night stands or whatever. I'm like, th- it's never as handy as that. I don't know what you done, but it's you with me. If I go with a doll for a while and then I, it's not going to work out, she's fucking outside my front door for three weeks. You know, there's always a handling. Yeah, to get out of it. It's not clean cut. No. And then I'm too. But she should, like, your woman should just be. I mean, is Tinder like I'm just looking the ride? What's what's the I'm no, just looking not. the ride? It's not. No. Is there just? I'm, I'm sure there's dolls on that are like rebounding or whatever, but like a lot of them are just looking relationships. So boring. That's so boring. <laughs> they tell you my dad, whenever he was single, went on plenty of fish. Yeah. The first girl, first woman he went on a date with, he's now married to. But he bought a year subscription. He was furious. <laughs> I used to do a stand up about it He was like Do you reckon Because he's a bit A bit of a tech tard Like he's like Do you reckon you could Have we look at that there And see if I can get them 11 months back Get a refund Yeah no I'd, I'd, I think I'd like that Just settle down to fuck hey. Just one go Bang I, I, I couldn't be arsed hey. I couldn't be I couldn't Like there's boys I know Like they're talking to like Five or six women at a time I don't have the Hand eye cock coordination to, to, to keep up with that <laughs> I like I don't know how they forget the conversations. 
that are having it like separate. Oh yeah, it would drive you. I can be. I can be fucked with that either. Uh, I know. That's why I bet you speed dating actually kind of makes sense now, because you can just rack up numbers and like you get you can tell pretty quickly with someone usually. I well, boy told me seven years. That's when before you know someone completely, you need to like know them for seven years. Who told you that? The boy I used to work with. He's divorced now. Yeah. <laughs> right, no. <laughs> but it's like, you know, you do it like <clears throat> completely in and out, know a person, like literally know what they're thinking without even saying anything. You know seven years? Like, seven years. Maybe. Depends how much time you spend I with them. I suppose like everything else, the more time you spend with a person, you get to fucking know them. Like. I usually get the seven year itch. Any woman I was with was gone. After time. Have you been with people for seven years? Uh-huh. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. I was a real steady man all my ma- 20s. So how many seven-year relationships did you have? Two. Fuck me, man. Shifts. Monogamy. Man's, There's only one left in me, and that's it. Man's grafting. Mm-hmm. As soon as that seven years takes over, you're like, she is an arsehole. And then I started, See you later. Then I started stand-up. Did me. you leave both of them? Or was it mutual both times? The first one cheated on me. And then, I, of course, I get blamed for that for some reason. And then the second How'd you, how'd you get blamed for that? I don't know. I'm always turn out the cunt. Is it because you're not into pegging? No, no, she was right dead on, actually. <laughs> she was a homely wee cutty. <laughs> she, went like holidays, she went on holidays. It's always the handling of holidays. That's what uh, beats you. She went on holidays? Was it that girl in Magaluf sucking 24 dicks? <laughs> <laughs> no, she was 23. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that video? Like, no, what was that? It was doing the rounds. It was like some girl. I mean, the, the whole... The whole fucking culture of that, like, you're on holiday, there's a holiday fucking rep trying to get you into clubs, and they're like, yeah, we're all fucking mad, and you do 10 sex positions, and then you win a bottle of fucking WKD or something. You know what you do, that shit, you're uh, on yeah, a boat yeah. party, and they're like, right, first one to fucking get this bottle of Malibu up their hole wins it, or so, you know, it's so seedy. It's amazing how when you <clears> get a group of women together, and get a lot of drinks in them, how all just... <laughs> Just out the window. That's that bingo loco was a genius idea. Oh, yeah. They all get loaded, and then they go up on stage and go here, shove that strimmer up your hole, and we'll give it to you. And uh, and you're pushing girls and out of the way. The I'll next, take it. the next day, then they're email and go, "I'm a fucking solicitor. Don't ever put that video out or whatever." Just uh, all morals go out to the window. But that's what they do. You know, that's the environment they create. They want people to get loose, get crazy. Yeah. And you start giving out shots here at comedy clubs. <laughs> I did. I, I did at Voodoo. Oh, week. I fucking seen that. Um, but yeah, no, this girl, I, I don't know, they were like, right, you, and it was literally like you win a bottle of vodka or something. You know, you've got one minute to get as many cocks in your mouth as you can, and it, someone was filming it. It was just, you know, just dudes on holiday wearing like checked fucking three quarter length shorts, pulling their wee fucking, there we are, right? Like, there you go. And she's like, ah, ah, ah. and of course, you know, she gets the brunt of that. Everyone's like, what are you fucking doing? Was she from here? Yeah, I think so. What's her name? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look her up there. But you're just like, man, at least get a boner. There's, How, nothing, there's nothing worse than 24 soft cats. Oh, flaccid old Mickey, I know. <laughs> just an old fucking... Just That's why I keep them hard all the time. Just like a wee witch's finger. Yeah. I, I keep them ready to go all the time because you don't know who's about. Nah. <laughs> you, 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 you get her hard there and you cinch it off and you just tie it to the leg. Ah, her actions, hey, they're getting harder and harder to come by. <laughs> not, my world. not my word. Not my word. No. I need a fucking, I need chemically castrated, get something done around here. <laughs> you watch those, those documentaries about the pedophiles, they're like, they're chemically castrated. I'm like, what is it? What is it, what is it called there? Would you ever get the snip? The snip? Mm. I'm sure that, what does the snip do? Uh, it means like, you know, you can't get pregnant or whatever. Nah. You still can buck away a lot, but. I fucking know what you do. Get your tubes tied. No way, do you like? Huh? I mean, I'm not a young single guy you run the bite, like. Well, I've never, ever... Uh, that seems to be a new thing where young gays are getting that. It was always an oh, old... Your butler has one? Uh, it was always an old gay thing. Which, re- which re- you know, rakes of, you know, serial killer to me. <laughs> you went to those efforts? I was yeah. throwing out a bag on it, bro. But... Uh, imagine, you told, imagine you were a young gay and you're bucking it all and like, oh, don't worry about it, Dot, that I have the snip. Uh, She's not trusting that. Yeah. Unless there's a big, a big old scar on it, where he's just like, oh, there we go, that's where they took the nut out. I don't know what to do. What do they do, snip it, tie it? <laughs> Takes his balls from his back pocket. Yeah, don't you Cut worry. them off, look. <laughs> Can you still blow loads? 
I thought. Uh, I wonder. I, I, I am I googling it? Aye. Much, much as a snip. Can wait. I know. Can, Butler had to go to Galway or somewhere. Nice. <laughs> it's like Turkey for hair. <laughs> Down in Galway. The Galway snip. Just some fella yeah. stand there with a fucking a hatchet. A butter knife. Can you still ejaculate after vasectomy? First search. It doesn't affect your sex drive or ability to enjoy sex. You'll still have erections and ejaculate, but your semen won't contain sperm. Wow. You need to use... Maybe I would. That seems like a great crack. Hey, the first load would be scary after the snip, wouldn't it? Just pure fucking blood and tears. Oh, Jesus. Just squeezing out like toothpaste. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I can't handle anything. See if I ever get a, like a, a an actual disease, I'm just gonna kill myself. I can't. I can't deal with hospitals. <laughs> I always think about you hear about people doing like elective surgeries. Like I got a vasectomy. I got a fucking uh, you know fucking circumcised when I'm thirty or whatever. Like Shane, no. I'm like I'm not being out of action for that lifetime. I she she funny. I have a boner immediately. My father's no foreskin <laughs> <laughs> after the accident. After the incident, he lost it in the Great War. <laughs> um, he's the same thing. She and the old fucking bailer there and ripped the end off it. That is a condition where the it gets really tight, uh, right? And they have to get it off, right? Well, yeah, of course. But that's like poor old Sheen would have went to many as a consultant and to get that all. My old boy wouldn't be like that at all. He's like, I need something done because it it whistles when I piss here. <laughs> <laughs> so. Get me the hacksaw on the face grips now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. He put on the kettle. He's <laughs> that kettle boil. <laughs> it would be the greatest fucking trick of all time. So he was wild like that. Like he used to like, he done a He's marathon. He's on the <laughs> <laughs> God rest him. He's still living, but uh, but it sounds like the road sandstorm. He's pulling one off next round. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's the new country soundtrack. <laughs> Just whistle wanking on the edge. D- dick whistle. <laughs> the dick whistle remix. But uh, Life you can't get it. Twenty twenty three. You can't get a doctor now. Derek Ryan. So you're your own doctor. Dick whistle McCarney. <laughs> <laughs> must bring that into here uh, uh, if you get it medically done that's grand like i think the general consensus is that you know it deadens the, the end of it a wee bit you see most you people get it. <laughs> <laughs> you still, daddy do you still have the sensitivity around the crown yeah he used it to build our house <laughs> fucking putting nails in <laughs> <laughs> It's like a fucking like a it's claw like a, hammer. It's like, it's like an anvil you can just <laughs> do stuff on top of it. Yes. Opening tins of jam. Tins of jam. <laughs> um, Running around a bottle of Corona. Is there a bottle opener here? Here, don't worry. But it'll probably happen because anything that happened to him as a cub always happened to me. So it'll probably happen to me shortly too. Does it come on like fucking, you know, the tightness? <laughs> <laughs> He just wake he's up still has it. He's like, just that's tight today. He took the foreskin home. It was like a silencer. Yeah, he just <laughs> like a fucking <sighs> cable tie. Just, he uh, oh, she's tight today, mate. I just comes on you, like I. Does it? Aye. Oh wow, well, fuck it out. Then you have to get it. I, oh. I seen a picture of Alan Irwin's cock after he got circumcised, and it was fresh, like Mickey. He, he I imagine the, it just looks like Alan. I <laughs> ginger and angry. <laughs> He sent the photo to Mickey and Mickey's like, that's all I was cock there. And I looked at it and I was like, geez. It, looked, it literally looked like a fucking dog had been at it. Like, like a fucking dog toy. toy. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Wait, man. what did he get done? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, Just that's the way it looked. <laughs> <laughs> no, he get the fucking, uh, he got so, he, no, he he burst the old banjo string, didn't he? Oh, how did he do that? Bucking, surprisingly. <laughs> 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 what was his name? <laughs> So no, I, 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 I could be talk, speaking out of place, but I think that's what happened. I think he, he got the he got the cock in. Well, realistically, how else could you do it? The, well, breaking the, the banjo uh, string, unless you were just ripping the helmet off it, like. But I think it was during the act, which is sort of like where you know what I mean. Get a bit of moisture going on there, man. 
<laughs> I freaked up. Forget about Imagine bar. lying up on a hospital bed and just cock out, and there's fucking four doctors going, hmm. Uh, that's mean. I just killed myself. Yeah. That's I when could. I'd want one last boner. I'd be like, how long before you get the consultant around here? <laughs> Let me throw a bit of blood into Slap it. Slapping the fucking tablet. <laughs> Nurse! Nurse! <laughs> Come over here and spit in my face to get myself going. Well, you, need, you at least need a bit of an air out, you know what I mean? You can't just whip, if you're wearing like a wee tight pair of boxer briefs, you can't whip them down and your dick's all <laughs> smushed up, you know what I mean? You have to fucking, you know, shake it out a wee like bit. Like a Batman what? villain? Sh- <laughs> 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 like the guy in Men in Black, more sugar. It's your dick. More sugar. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. <laughs> Oh, no. Just live the rest of your life with that fucking the whistling cock. I nearly would. It was just yeah. a man thing to do, right enough. Oh yeah. Um, even funny. I actually come he up. Never the road. married. He's now whistling cock. Wrong. I have to get my bloods done tomorrow. I'm like, I just, I'd rather just leave the country right now. Really? Uh, I don't give a fuck about needles. Oh, I fainted the first time. I got one. You show yeah. me like a broken bone, like someone breaking their arm, doing something or whatever, or someone blowing their knee out playing sports. I'm like. Ugh. But I could watch needles and blood and all day. No, anything medical I got at all, I just down. Just type. Just down at goal. Like. Can't hack it. As soon as that strap on comes out, you're fucking just keel over. Can I still ejaculate? How, how long have we been on there now? Uh, I think about an hour. Now. About an hour. We, uh, oh my God. Whistling Cox, that's the name of the podcast. Um, did we just do a couple of uh, questions and then we'll move over and do the rest of the questions? Let's see if we could do one wee, one wee question. What's your what's your plans for the rest of the year? By the way, that's my question. Rest of the year? You doing any more stand-up? That's how I want to. Yeah, this year I'm going to get me, me show together and then I'll go tour next year. So that's my plan. Where are you getting the show together? Just anywhere I can Just get. Doing any gigs? Well, I'm we're starting. Clo- we're closing laveries and then we're reopening as a purpose, <clears throat> like a purpose-built venue. Near enough, so there'll be gigs. Funny, somebody was asking me yesterday about when I'm next in Lavery's. Yeah, well, I'm, well, I'm getting well, I'm getting Pat's going in a skin, which will hopefully be monthly. Nice. So I'll do it, and then anywhere else. Nice. Did I try and get this hour together? Happy days. Right, we'll hit a few questions from this, right, and then we'll move over and we'll do the full, the full. When's the video gonna drop? What is the video? I've asked it for. Is it like a feature length film or something? <sighs> the last time I looked, it was like it was at like. 30 odd minutes but i'd say that'll be cut down but a man it, do you need a second set of eyes on it <laughs> i How will show, show the boys i will what, like now nah, i'll go through it like a fucking just, but it fucking takes like, like you a pack forget, of piranhas ripping it apart you forget how long it takes to do anything if you think something's gonna take a month it's gonna take you at least three i've never thought like that i've thought can i do this tomorrow morning yeah <laughs> i think that's why i just get i'm the guy too i'm like because after a while I do lose interest in a thing, mm-hmm. I need to nearly get it done right away. But like after this video, I'm just going back to like short sketches because I will go mentally fucking insane. You just need to say, you need to... But I'm trying to up me. I'm always trying to bigger and better than the last one, which is nearly, in, you know... Impossible, yeah. Unless you have a fucking Hollywood budget behind you. But only you know that. I know. The people don't know that. I know. Do you know what I mean? I'm very hard the people myself. just The people just want more. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, oh, I'm starving. You're like, I'm making you the best dinner ever in three weeks. You're like, I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> yeah, now. yeah, yeah. You three, know? three. Yeah. It's like doing stand up. People come off and like, fuck, I fucked that bit up. They don't know. Mm. <clears throat> you know what I mean? But I was purposely trying to like do them because mine are all shit and rough because I shoot them myself. So half of it was like out of focus. So oh, I was purposely yeah. even trying to like get better production and all. And you're right, like it is. Like most people don't give a flying fuck about it. Just people who's into like Niall there give me a lot of shit about it. Like. I think subconsciously people are that they don't know they are. I think but audio people love good production. Yeah. They don't know that they love good production. Uh, it's like, nice that there's a class thing where it's like yeah. lots of subtle things throughout the video. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. It's, it's good. Is there a thought put under? Like he, you know, his looks like he patched it together in a morning or something, but it's like he's done it that many times that there's so, like, you know, they cut the fucking time lapse and you're like, that probably took fucking all morning. You know, like, there's a bunch of shit. 
Yeah. And then I've seen things where there was one show and it was really rough. And like the second season was very like well put together. Mm-hmm. And they're like, that's ah, too polished now. Well, that's a thing. Yeah. It's too there, good looking. There's like, you know, I remember whenever I started making videos, I was like, I'd love to be making like fucking sketches, you know, like it, like it was on the Chappelle show or something. Yeah. But I only had a fucking JVC camcorder. So I went the other way where I was like, I'll make it look like it was yeah, I suppose sort to be like of self shot rough documentary type thing. But that is a style. I like that kind of <clears throat> zoomy office type yeah. style, like, and it suits because whenever you're fucking doing it yourself, the yeah. wee bit of roughness does help. But I, I think I might just delete it and move on in my life. <laughs> Start Tesco. Shut up. <laughs> Get pegged on film. That'd be funny. <laughs> this is a this is the most culty question ever. Uh, which does Mark prefer, Toronto from Anna people, and is Trillic or Tempo the back of the mountain? Niche reference. That's a very local person, whoever that it is. is. Ryan Goodwin, you know him. Name rings a bell. Um, I don't know. They're very different. For s- people that are so fucking close. I couldn't pick. Hey, you it's couldn't deep, pick in your children out there. But uh, Trillic's the front of the mountain. Did Mark ever get that date with your doll, Mackle? Oh, I, Patrice. What's that? One of the Mulhalls asked me a question about Patrice Michael on on the podcast. And she's like a TikToker or something. Oh, right. And uh, then she she was putting up something on TikTok about me or whatever. But no, I, I wouldn't let her go out with me. She's too good looking. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, she's good looking. Cody, like. We'll but, not go into the online perven right now. But um, I wouldn't let her degrade herself. <laughs> really? I know what I know what I'm worth. She's worth ten times me. <laughs> if, if 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 a good looking doll ever did chat me up, I'd be like, the "Are you taking the are you taking the piss out of me or what the fuck?" But you, if you're funny, you know it's a different different thing altogether. Look at some of the heaps that are walking around Lavrix with wives and children and fucking, <laughs> you know, riding flat out now. I know. Well, he doesn't have two. Doesn't even have two hands. <laughs> who, finger, who, who finger, are we talking about here? Finger my both. As long as you've won instrument, <laughs> you're all right. Instrument. Uh, we'll finish on this and then we'll, we'll move over to the Patreon for the questions. Patreon.com forward slash general banter. Do you have any survival tips for cultures living in places like London? Asking for a friend. What would be your wee home comforts if you were if you were trying to hunt them down over there? Fuck us. Uh... We can be better, man, to us than that. Say I've only ever been, like, the, lo- the f- longest I've ever been away from home was, like, a month. I don't know how you'd live in another... Do you ever live in another country? Live in Glasgow. For a year. <laughs> Which is not really a different country, let's face it. Political. It's like Belfast um, over there. You know what uh, I mean? It's like fucking... Same shit. Same people. I'd say the food's a big thing. Mm-hmm. You'd need to have your... None bar. I took a big bag of fucking day bags to New York. Right? Really? People always did. I never understood that. Like never people, used one. Never you took used, them all, never used never them. Used you them took one. them? Mm. Why? You can get whatever the fuck you want in New York. Made me feel it. safe. Not in You can't get it in New York. I mean, who gives a fuck? Uh, <laughs> did, you, did you drink any tea when you were there? No, that's the hilarity of it. Yeah. But if I didn't drink, see if I went, well, not today right now, but if I went tomorrow and drunk no tea, I'm, I'd have a migraine before. 12 o'clock. I uh, just, that low key caffeine. Yeah. Um, so if you're living in London. Thing, sure, London's full of tea. English fuck is London, very tea. just come home. I uh, know, fuck London is right. I hate London. I, I, I've i been twice as a deer hole, but I enjoyed it, like. But every then I, I always get to go home, so I don't really. Every time I get back, I'm just like, oh. Like, I've, I've been to plenty of big cities, like, where I had a great time. But there's something about London where you're just like, man, this place would fucking. Fuck no, the last time I was over was when I was videoing for the Christmas special and I was just literally, I went myself mm-hmm. and for like two days just toured around the town making a ball to myself and I really enjoyed it. Like. Met Vittorio, done a wee gig and... Shout out to Vittorio, seen him on stage in a photo last night wearing a pair of uh, like Birkenstocks. Man. What's that? Like sandals. Oh, right. But All like right. you'd hate it, deer sandals, you know what I mean? They're like fucking... I couldn't wear sandals on my toes. Do you have weird toes? You tell oh, me that before. I, I, they're very, they're one, they're lopsided. 
I can't remember if it was you or someone else. Tell me that weird toes. Oh, you wanted me to do a sketch about a foot model, and I was like, sure, you'd vomit if I took my sock off. Good. <laughs> That's our new sketch. We're going to ride that at lunch. I'm going to take you for an exotic lunch. Nice. Get you a fucking avocado. You know what I mean? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever had an avocado in my life. An old cheese pear. Um, what, have you not? A cheese pear? No, I'm joking. That's it. Is that a thing? Text? No. And say it probably is somewhere. We'll get you. We'll get you. We'll get you a wee avocado on toast with an egg. That's why I love going to buy these boys because I get to venture out. You know. Uh, <laughs> I learn stuff. I think if you went to buy an avocado and seen the price of them, you'd be like, "Where? Where do we think we are? California? You probably wouldn't even get an avocado." South of Lisburn. <laughs> <laughs> or you shouldn't actually. <laughs> Avocado on toast, another thing? No, I'll take you. I'll take you for the Mediterranean breakfast where they give you the fucking what do you call that squeaky cheese? Halloumi. And you got a fucking comfy p- tomatoes. Oh, that last time we went now. I was a wee bit hesitant now, but uh, the the Haggis burger. Oh yeah. That was tasty now. But that's not fancy food. That's just That's fancy to me. But it's not fancy, it's like peasant food from a different country uh, still fancy to me because <laughs> i'm a peasant if it's not a fucking potato but sandwich i would never like, ever if i went into that place and seen haggis burger on the menu i'd be like not a fucking chance because i want to eat here i want something it was great fil- oh, it was now? or was it me- yeah. yeah it was great genre merchants shout out still have a fucking voucher to go in there for a free lunch Oh, shout out to him boys right we'll get out of here we'll do the questions on the on the patreon for the half hour power hour cheers for joining me in this part Explosion. If anything you want to plug there, follow McCarney on Instagram. Hmm. McCarney Plus. Oh, fuck, I. He's a good man there. McCarney Plus. McCarney Plus. He has his own website. Uh, he has bypassed uh, Patreon. Yes. Rightly so. It's a fucking nightmare. <coughs> mm-hmm. But uh, we're too deep in the game now. But you have McCarney Plus. How many people are on it now? Near in a thousand. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. You got a thousand people on there? Head in that direction? Fuck me, sir. Well, there you go. See, on th- when you're an entrepreneur like me, <laughs> you know, I get up every morning at three o'clock and write me mantra. Yeah. Get the fuck back to bed. Write me mantra. <laughs> Do some research. What is an avocado? <laughs> <laughs> South of Lisburn. It's a new documentary in McCarney Plus. Yes. <laughs> what is an avocado? <laughs> we we Netflix thumbnail. Uh, I should do a f- I should do a food show. What is an avocado? Just ran, just give me just something to have to figure out what it is. <laughs> you should just take a, you know, there are foods that come around in trends, like halloumi was a big one. You heard of halloumi? There was a camera came out years ago called halloumi, wasn't it? Halloumi? 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 What, what is it, hummus? No. That's a, that's a different episode. <laughs> hummus has its own episode. Halloumi is like, is a Greek ch- cheese made out of something. What what animal is it made out of? Sheep? Goat? It's some it's some sort of not cu- it's not cow's milk, but it's like it gives you this like squeaky, very salty cheese. And what people, do you mean squeaky? It's got a weird like like squeaky bite to it. Oh, cheese strings. Yes. It's like eating a balloon. It's like eating a fucking condom. Yeah, it's like <laughs> fucking but they fry it and you know a wee bit of honey on it. It's it's a nice texture. So it's cheese? Wait, see, it's the fancy names that gets me. Well, it's Greek or something. That's what they would call it over there. I would sure there's female town cheese, but we don't call it fucking. But that's a brand. It's well, cheddar, is it not? Oh, I <laughs> see it being. Need a show. We're getting out of here, guys. Shout out to our final sponsor, Flow CBD Ltd. They're having a, a summer sale. I keep forgetting to put the ad in. Do you ever use any CBD? That's another I, episode. I, I, uh, <laughs> drugs don't work on me. <laughs> You need some? <laughs> Femme toes. Uh, what's, wh- oh yeah, if you use the code SPRING, you get 40% off CBD products. I mean, what more do you want around here? Cheers for joining me, Mark McCarney. Let's move Pleasure. over to the Patreon, have a pish. Yeah. If Mark had to go on OnlyFans to fund some glamorous video shoots, what would he choose as his niche? Declan Flynn. That's from Declan Flynn, that's not the niche. <laughs> I don't know. I'd probably just thumb it into some doll mm. and video it. 